Hey guys, I'm Marta Geek. In this video, I'm going to be sharing a little bit more gameplay for Hell Divers 2. Um, we're playing on the latest update, and like you see here in information, the game is only 24.97, 24.97 gigabytes. The box actually says 30 gigabytes, but you know, that's always uh, it's it's not always accurate. And um, of course, this game is going to get a lot more patches and updates because uh, I I think it still it needs it. You know, it did have a little rough launch for some people, especially on PC. On PlayStation 5, I don't, I, I, I've been experiencing crashes. You know, some people have not been experiencing crashes. I have experiencing scratch, um, crashes. Um, if you saw my first video, I already did an um, unboxing video where I show the unboxing. And instead of playing on the PS5, I play on the PlayStation Portal. Uh, this is where we actually get stratagems, so you have to gain some points during the gameplay, and then we could go ahead and purchase some stratagems. Here, the weaponry, armory, you could change your helmets, your capes. Uh, right now, I only have the, um, I, I think I haven't purchased anything yet. Uh, you know, have the boring cape, you know, the boring cape right here. Um, character bows and all that. Career, you can see it here as well. This is where you're going to buy your stuff with the points that you collect. You know, you got armor, you got weapons, you got shield, not shield, but you got the capes. And you also use real money to buy stuff. And uh, ta -ta -ta. let's go and choose a mission here. I'm barely starting this game. Keep that in mind. I'm barely starting this game. I'm playing this game or recording this after, you know, I played a couple hours on the via via remote play on the PlayStation Portal and um, trying to get used to the controls. Okay. Okay. That. I like how it looks on the outside. Yeah, it looks really cool. Engaging orbital Look at this. Yeah, baby. Nice. That's a lot okay. of ships. Synchronized. Let's go to the hell pads. So yeah, I already did upload a video. Uh, I'm just gonna choose a location here. Um, we have to do what? Okay, seven gems. We only have two, so this game looks really good. I like the animations during, before the cutscene, you know, before the missions, it's so cool, and after the missions as well. Okay. Yes, baby. It says pump fuel to IC. BM Point for you to ICBM. Okay. So we're gonna go over there. So yeah, I already did upload a video for this. I hope you actually watched the video, the unboxing and initial gameplay experience on for this game. And I gotta say I did not I was having a hard time recording that video. Oh my god, I don't think, I can't remember when was the last time <laughs> that I had such a hard time recording a video. Okay, I don't want to get killed here. Uh-oh. Crap. Come on! Uh, you know, the thing about this game, when you're moving around, it's uh, the... Oh man, the aiming is not that accurate. Yeah. I love how the weapon feels. So damn awesome. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Ooh. Yes, baby. Ooh. <laughs> there you go. Oh damn it, these things. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, we got an explosion 
close to the barrel there. Let's see. Get closer. Ooh. Oh. No. Uh -oh. Woo. That was awesome. That was very good. So yeah, I say I was having a hard time recording that video because the game first when I launched it, I realized that you have to have PlayStation Plus to play this game. Um, even though yes, you pay forty bucks or fifty bucks, whatever you decide to pay for this game, because I think there was a deluxe edition that you pay like ten bucks more. Um, you still have to pay for PlayStation Plus, and you might be asking Mark, how come you don't have a PlayStation Plus membership? Well, I don't because I have so many. I'm paying for so many stuff like Netflix, Hulu, and I prefer to pay when it comes to gaming subscription. I prefer to pay for Xbox Game Pass because you actually get act games on release day, which <laughs> I don't know. That's going to be changing soon. I don't know. There's rumors going on with the PlayStation, with the Xbox um, situation there, which I hope I can share my experience, uh, my, you know, my thoughts next week when Phil finally is you know clarifies what's going on with play xbox because we might be getting xbox games on day one on the playstation as well that's insane you know that's insane to think but we still don't know i can't i, I can't still share my opinions because if i share my opinions i'm sharing my opinions based on the rumors going on nothing confirmed by the by the head of xbox okay so that's why i rather not um but you know, when it comes to subscriptions, I prefer to pay Xbox Game Pass than PlayStation Plus. I'm not an online player. You know, I don't play my games online. I don't care for online play games such modes. I am a huge fan of, you know, first person shooters, third person shooters, but I like story based games, you know. I'm not a huge fan of multiplayer. And one of the reasons that I'm not a huge fan of multiplayer is for what happened. If you saw my first video, like I said, I the match that I actually got to get into and record, I got a freaking troll. I got a freaking troll that actually killed me. <laughs> you know, actually killed me twice, okay? On purpose, and he was laughing and all that, and I believe he couldn't hear me because I had the microphone for the PlayStation Portal off, right? Um, the reason you didn't see the light on my PlayStation Portal is because I went into the settings while ago and turned off the light. I think the microphone light is actually distracting, so I turned it off whether it's on or off. Um, and that's one of the examples I hate playing online. I love first person shooters, I love third person shooters, but I'd rather play games that are based on story based games. That's that's me, that's me. And that's why I don't I don't need to be paying, you know, a hundred dollars a year or ten bucks a month for PlayStation Plus. I don't. So yeah, when you when I started playing this game, you have to I did have to pay for uh, at least a month I paid for a month of PlayStation Plus just to play this game and uh, okay here we go Whew, I love how this game feels and uh, the game crashed on me a couple times it crashed on me during the tutorial uh, when I recorded oh my god when I started recording game again it crashed on me I just edited out of the video you know, and then I was so pissed that I was like, you know what? I'm going to record this video, finish this video tomorrow because I just, you know, I was tired. I came from work. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. There you go. Woo. Holy crap. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Holy crap, I freaking died. Oh crap. Just when the f couple seconds. Democracy has landed. <laughs> Democracy. 
Oh my god. There you go. Oh yes, baby. Whew, that was awesome. That was awesome. There you go. Okay. Okay, we died once. We died once, but I think this is this has been my 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 <laughs> my best game through so far in the beginning. This game can get hard. I'm telling you, this game, you know, the early stages, yes, you can play by yourself, but honestly, I I, I don't know. I, I can't see myself playing this game completely by myself because it gets hard. It gets hard. And I'm telling you, because I played Helldivers 1, the first one on the PlayStation Vita, and it's really awesome. It's really awesome, but, you know, it, you know, it gets hard. It gets hard. I remember I did play that game with people online, because you had to. You had to. But the cool thing about Helldivers 1 is that it actually had offline gameplay. You could actually play the game offline, single player, and go through all the missions you wanted. This game, you cannot do that. Helldivers 2, you cannot play offline. You have to be online all the time. Okay. Every Helldiver lost is an unspeakable tragedy. But this mission had fewer unspeakable tragedies than average. These NPCs, I can't wait to see the they don't do nothing. <laughs> you talk to them. You press the talk button. No, these actually aren't exactly the same bugs we fought. Yeah, so far they say the same thing all over again. Years of rapid evolution, not to mention. Yeah, emote. Let's see something. Do I have enough? Oh, I got. Okay, I got enough now to buy the this right here, which is a star wart. Or oh, the anti tank. Okay, this is going to be a great against those huge aliens there you go so we got a new stratagem let me see what else I didn't buy anything else here uh -huh. galactic uh, let's try I don't know, let's see this 12 minutes let's go and try another mission see if we can actually Play a small mission here. And and I'm playing right now, I'm playing on the easiest level. <laughs> I'm playing on the easiest. You got you can go from trivial all the way to hardcore, I think extreme, something like that. That's insane. Look at that. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, let's see something here. Okay, we got two, do we? Armor. Hmm, look at this. We can buy this armor. Should we get it? No, I don't care for the emotes. Uh huh. Should we get the armor? Or should I think I should get this? Yes. There you go. Awesome. We got a trophy there as well. That's good. Because, you know, I'm, bar I'm almost seeing myself from the back. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. That looks way better than the the boring one. Very cool. Okay. Raise the flag. Raise the flag. Hmm. Okay, let me see something. Launch the machine. Okay, this is the first time I'm going to be doing a Raise the Flag mission. Yes guys, let me know in the comments what is your experience so far with this game? Are you having a great time or not? Are you playing solo or are you playing in with your friends or the public? 
Or are you playing against PC players? Or are you just playing on PlayStation 5? Because you can play... Uh, Crossplay is actually on by default. So if you leave it on, you can play against people on PC and PS5. Oh man, this looks so cool here in the... This looks like cornfield. Yes, baby. There you go. I like to use melee attacks because that saves you bullets. <laughs> and the small guys, you can actually beat them. You can actually kill them with uh, melee attacks. Not the big ones, the small ones. Okay, so super R flag. Oh crap. Damn it, I accidentally use a stem. Oh crap. Damn it, I just wasted a stem. Oh crap. I need stems! Okay, we're gonna have to. Okay, resupply. And we super flag. Okay, super flag. There you go. Whew. Okay, we got some supplies there. Okay, so where's the... Where's the flag? Oh crap. Okay, I got... Do I got more people? There you go. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my god. Are you serious? Oh my god, right in frickin' below me. Damn. This guy came from under me. Okay, I'm trying to see you. How the hell you do the flag mission? Okay, guys, right now I'm trying to figure out. Because I don't see the stratagem with the flag. Okay, we got the machine gun. Liberator. Because I did the tutorial and there was a flag that you picked up, but I don't see the damn flag. Where the hell is the damn flag? It says flag raising. Huh. Okay, so I see that bar right there. It says flag raising or rising. Raising flag super earth. Okay, am I missing something here, guys? Liberator. Hmm. Let me see something. I don't see stratagem. You got expendable, reinforce, SOS, beacon. I see that flag, you know, that white line going up is that because huh. I think it's because it's like a timer or something like a survival kind of thing Let's get some more flag raising I'm at the right location Tagging map, northeast. yeah Let 
machine gun. Mission complete? What the hell? What the hell? I don't know how the hell I did that. So I guess the flag was loading up. It's like, it's, you know, it's like when you get, when you ask for extraction, that there's like a, a time you have to wait for. That's weird. I didn't know you had to wait for the flag to come up. Okay. So yeah, so far the game has been performing great. I'm knocking on wood right now. I hope uh, <laughs> the game doesn't crashes on me right now while I'm finishing this video. But so far, you know, it's been playing good. During the last, I would say, the last three or four missions, it has been playing pretty good. It has, I haven't been experiencing any crashes. But, you know, if there is, don't worry, guys. This game is going to be updated. And, um, you know, it's expected. A lot of times for games like these, you have crashes. And uh, there you go. So we got, whoa, yeah. Let's go do some resupply just in case I have to wait too long. Have it available there. And precision strike. I haven't tried this yet. <laughs> Should we throw it there? Ah. Holy crap. Damn. Holy crap. What the hell am I... What the hell am I reloading? Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? I got killed trying to reload. Uh, was that the... The machine gun? No, that must have been the anti-tank. Oh no. Holy crap! What the hell was that, a geyser? Holy crap! Run, bitch! <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my god, I'm blowing myself up. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, you need to play with another person. You can't play by yourself. Oh my god. Oh hell no. Oh no, please don't tell me I'm going to die again. Whew. Oh my god, that was awesome. That was awesome. Your hell no. Are you serious? Ah, oh, let's get out of here. Oh. oh my god, that was awesome. There you go, baby. Democracy prevails. Oh my god, that was awesome. Yeah, that was awesome, but. I'm telling you guys, um, if you want to succeed in this game, I think you at least a team of twos. At least a team of two. At least. Oh, man. Okay, we got bam. So, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about the game. Um, I like the game. I was a huge fan of Helldivers 1. Very, very awesome game. Loved it. Loved the fact that it was offline as well and you could play it. You know, without having to worry about connected online. Uh, here we cannot do that, which kind of sucks. Um, I was thinking of getting this game on the PC so I can play it on my Steam Deck, but you know, when I heard it required online constant connection, I was like, why even bother? You know, why even bother getting it there? So, but another. You know, I would also save money because <laughs> I wouldn't have to pay this online subscription. You know, 
I would have saved money. And I could have got this game for cheaper as well. So we got some credit there. Maybe I should buy like the, can I buy a helmet? Buy the helmet to end the video here. And uh, that's it. There you go. We got a new helmet. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think about Helldivers 2. I think it's pretty cool. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. And if you want to see anything else for this game, just let me know. Okay, guys. I'm going to be browsing a little bit more through this and see what I get if I can later on. So, guys, thanks for watching this video. Till next time. Bye-bye.